is Jeff Allen. Happy May 2-4 weekend. This is Off the Gridiron and today we are taking a quick walk in the back back of the property <coughs> from my trailer park and uh, I thought I wanted to, sh wanted to share something with you. Um, one of my newest uh, additions to my, my, my kit, my bushcraft kit or my survival kit if you will, is the Topps Buck Nighthawk. This thing is an absolute monster. <coughs> You can see the blade there. 650 stainless steel. Heavy, heavy quarter inch spine on it. 90 degree edge, obviously, uh, for ferro rod and, and, and so on. Uh, but what a be what a beefy knife. Very, very grippy, um, dimpled, textured grip. Not unlike some of the Moiras. Nice thumb choil to choke up. And what a wicked, wicked point. And again, I wanted a, a knife that had some weight and heft to it. You can go online and see how uh, how there's there's some YouTubers out there that have done an absolute um, a battery of, of reviews and field tests on this knife, and and had have held have not held back. They they were batoning cinder blocks, um, doing some very aggressive uh, point and gouging and bending. Uh, and uh, it's certainly been uh, a knife that I felt uh, deserved a place in my uh, in my kit. Along with that is the uh, is the sheath. Now, a number of people have done reviews and uh, have um, had some not always positive things to say about this one. Nice <coughs> quick lock buckle inside. Nice little storage in there. Uh, small first aid kit, fishing kit. Uh, ferro rod, magnesium striker, multi-tool perhaps, and that locks down nice and tight. <clears throat> the plastic insert inside is uh, is quite, it's, it's, it's good enough, but it's not like a nice Kydex molded um, fit. There is, uh, it will let go, there's not a great fit on it, and thankfully we have the, the snap here. Now what I've added is an extra little ring that can rotate down over the top. And this provides that extra little bit of retention and, and, and safety and security. And when I'm reaching for my knife, I can just grab this ring, pull it up, and it's able to come free. On the back, there is the Velcro access I guess, sheath attachment. That's really nice because you don't have to take your belt off to attach it. So it's on and off fairly easily. On the back, there is a... A, a removable strap under this liner, which is a Molly compatible sheath. A little bit of uh, cordage if you'd like that for uh, a leg wrap. Uh, I'm not a fan of that, but if that's uh, something you're into, that would be quite well, work quite well for you. A couple of holes in the top. I'm not sure what they can really be used for. Uh, I don't suppose you would need to lash this to anything. I'd certainly not mount it as a spear tip, but uh, um, perhaps those are meant for turning or um, I guess in a pinch you could use it for a bow drill really not sure anyways that's just the newest attachment uh, newest addition to my, my kit I thought I'd share that with you on a beautiful walk out here May 2 for a weekend anyways this is Jeff Allen signing off I hope that was informative if you do enjoy the my videos uh, do subscribe give me a thumbs up and let me know what you're interested in uh, in terms of any gear reviews and I'll have a have a chance to do that with you uh, there's many of them other uh, many other videos out there with uh, again some some pretty uh, intense training and, and uh, I guess trial and error seeing what this knife is, is able to do and, and what it can take so those would be some something certainly worth your while and checking out too but again tops Nighthawk certainly a great addition to your kit take care enjoy the outdoors